Ha. My cabinet's open. Okay. So, I look like a hot mess. Which, you know what? It's 8 o'clock at night. On a Friday. And I've been cleaning all day. I'm trying to get that video out. Manaka even got dark circles underneath my eyes from my mascara where I sweated today. I'll be sweating some more here in a minute. It's, even though it's like six, 70, 70 something, lower 70s, upper 60s, it's still a little warm. It's humid. I don't like humid. So, but I'm going to try to get that video out before this one. Anyway, we're going to make chewy pumpkin cookies. No, I did not decorate for Christmas. The turkey needs their day, even though I don't like turkey, the turkey needs its day. So, my house is thankful for Thanksgiving. Christmas will go up the 25th, or Christmas will go up Thanksgiving. Um, being a content creator, I don't feel the need to boast about what I have. My stuff doesn't match. It's years and years and years. It's 40 something years of collecting um, Christmas. I have 40 years of collecting Christmas. Um, so, you know, that, that right there in itself tells you that I'm not going to sit there and go and buy all new stuff every year. No. Make your house a home. You don't make your house a show place. Am I right? Renee? What? Am I right? What? You make your house a home, not a show place? Right. And my house is a home. We live in our home. You can tell we live in our home. Um, I make potato soup tonight is sitting here cooling on the counter you know it, it's stuff like that I'll put my potato soup recipe down in the thing it's easy it's, you pour potatoes in you put chicken broth in it you put a can of a package of ranch dressing bacon bits and cream cheese that's it so anyway I'm not all about I mean, I love to decorate, don't get me wrong. My Christmas, it looks like it threw up in my house. I have so much stuff between two households. Um, so I have a tree in the front room, a little four foot tree. I have a tree here in the living room. Um, it throws up gnomes. It throws up lights, everything. So I'm gonna make some chewy pumpkin cookies. And I'll link the recipe below. I got it off of a site. I don't even know the site of it that it's called. Um, but I am going to show you how to do it. So hang on to your boots. Boy, my eyes are even red. I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to do our oven to 350. <clears throat> And while it warms up, we're going to get everything together. Okay, what we're going to need is, I don't even have this all set up. Here, let me set it up real quick. Tells you how tired I am. Flip y'all around. Okay, what we're gonna need is we're gonna need sugar. It says white granulated sugar, but we're gonna use the no calorie granulated sugar. We're gonna use pumpkin pie spice and salted butter. We're gonna do, um, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to use 12 tablespoons of butter, brown sugar, eggs, vanilla, 
pumpkin pur puree. I told you pumpkin spice baking soda. Baking powder. Did we say vanilla? Oh yeah, I got two things of vanilla. I'm gonna use them both, one of them up. And salt, that's what we're gonna be needing. Okay, so what I did here is I put my fourth of a cup of sugar and cinnamon in here and I'm gonna mix that together. Okay, we're gonna set that to the side. Okay, now we're gonna add our three fourths cup, already have First cup of uh, butter, and I've already got that uh, three of it in here, which is actually 12 tablespoons of butter. So it's a stick in three tablespoons. Softened butter. Okay. We're going to add in that. We're going to do a cup of light brown sugar. have light brown sugar, so guess what? You got it. We're doing regular, but we're doing the other sugar for you. teaspoons vanilla almost done with that one thought I was for sure gonna be done with it but I guess not we'll put that one back to on the shelf okay. I have a can opener but I don't want to get it out. This helps with my hands keeping them limber sometimes. Okay. I'm going to do a half a cup.
the rest of this pumpkin in my in a jar and I will use it tomorrow for when I make something else. Find something else pumpkin to make. anything from anybody when I do my cooking. I make it mine. I don't try to be something I'm not on this thing. Um, I've dropped out of a couple of YouTubers channels. They do the same thing every day. The same thing every day. want to see them go shopping and spend thousands and thousands of dollars and it's the same thing every week it's never something different um, one of them she's I don't know she just I don't think she's all there Now we're gonna do this at, on low speed. And then we're gonna add one and three fourths cups. A flour. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the flour so you'll get the right ingredient, I mean the right amount. And I always take a bowl of some sort hold it over my bowl when I do it because you don't want to pack it you don't want to scoop it from inside your uh, container like this this is a good that's good I'm going to slowly add it because then it won't whip in. Half a teaspoon baking soda. You know your baking powder has the expiration date, right? And if it's not used before that expiration date, it's bad. It won't rise anymore. Like my baking soda will go out in December. So I've I pretty much used mine up. Okay, now. I guess that's all we have to do. Okay. That's good. Okay. Get my stuff to make here. Oh, I forgot salt. How much salt? Half a teaspoon of salt. Mm. 
Okay. Move everything out of the way. And I think this is um, my, I think that is my low colors.
that's it for that segment. The cookies turned out really good and it's hot and sweaty in my kitchen and I had to clean up my mess over there. I've had to work today. The cookies are really good. And you can make these, uh, they're, they're gluten free and they're sugar free. So anyway, y'all have a good night. Talk to you later. See you, bye.